What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode two, aka season two of my Fernabache rebuild. If you guys didn't see episode one, I suggest you guys go watch it before you watch this episode. Let's get right into it. So we start off by getting an offer for Luis Araujo from Wolfsburg. He didn't do quite well last season, so we are gonna accept this offer for 26 million. We also got offered a trade offer for Ozaya Samuel, 77 rated. He was really crucial last season, but we did get offered a younger right back. So we're gonna go ahead and accept this offer. Here we are negotiating with Divine Wrench for the trade offer. Like I said, he's a young right back, 19 years old, 74 rated. I think he could be really good. We're gonna offer him five years. We're gonna reject a release clause and we're gonna give him 20K a week. And he's gonna go ahead and accept that. Now we have to wait till Ozaya Samuel is done negotiating with Ajax. Hopefully he accepts it because this is a really good deal. So it's now confirmed, boys. Luis Araujo is on his way out. He's going to Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg did accept the money we asked for. We asked for 26 million. It is unfortunate he didn't work out, but good luck to him as he goes and plays in the Bundesliga. So, boys, we got an offer for Aquino, which we are going to delegate for 37 million. And it's 100% confirmed. Ozaya Samuel signs for Ajax, and we get Devin Hirsch. Best of luck to Ozaya Samuel in Ajax. Here we have Devin Hirsch. We're going to put him as maybe a defensive right back, but he's going to be really good for the future. Trust me, guys. So, boys, we're negotiating with Crystal Palace, and they did accept $32 million for Pedro Aquino. Oh, my goodness. We just found this free agent, Adriano Alvarez. I'm pretty sure he's a Danny Alves regen. So you guys know, we need to qualify for the Champions League. And our first game ends on a 0-0. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. But let's see how we do in the next match. Must win game right here, boys. Must win game. Come on. We could do it. And we end up winning 2-1 on aggregate because we did not score any goals, obviously, last game. 2-1. Go from Odile and Berisha. Lopez with an injury. Kind of concerned about that. But we do move on to the next round. So boys, my concern was right. Marcos Lopez is out for six months due to a broken tibia injury. This is really going to affect the team. Maybe Devin Hirsch could replace him. It could be Novak, but I feel like Devin Hirsch would be perfect there as he is younger. He is a right back, but he could play left back. So boys, we're here with our second playoff round, this time against PSV. I think a harder opponent. Let's see how our first game goes. Let's go. 2-1 win. Novak and Kawashi get a goal. I probably butchered her name, didn't I? We got a few transfer offers right here that we are going to reject. So leg two against PSV, this time at home. We got this, boys. Let's see how this game ends. Oh my goodness, boys. What a match we just witnessed. 3-2, decided on penalties, and we end up winning. We are in the Champions League, boys. But what a game. Rossi started the goal. Man, we got very lucky, boys. This is our group for the Champions League. As you can see, they just drawn it. Fernabache, that's us. We are in the same group as Bayern Munich, VRL, and Slavia Praha. Our group may seem tough, but with the signings we're going to make, we could definitely try to go for second place. So, boys, we made a world-class magisterial signing. Evan and Dika is going to be joining us from Bayern Munich for 30, 42 million, my bad. What a signing. He fits in perfectly since our main center back is injured. He's going to be a perfect replacement. There's Lopez and there's Lazai, still injured, unfortunately. But we got our replacements. Here we have a transfer offer for Lemos, which we are gonna accept. And right here we confirm the signing of Alessandro Purlamaki, a Peruvian CDM, just like Aquino. That ends our transfers for the summer. As you can see, we've had more of a profit than we, we spent, but we are gonna have a big signing come January. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially January. As you can see, we have a few departs. 
we have loans and we have a development plan that we gotta fix up but we're here to sign a big signing before all we must check how we are on the table we are 10 points off first place that's really bad but fear not my friends we did qualify for the champions league round of 16 three points behind Bayern, two points ahead of Villarreal. let's go unfortunately we are gonna have to face the one and only psg that's gonna be a tough matchup wish us luck boys here's a deeper look into our departures most of them are loan except for belkas which we did sell for six million and most of them are loans like i said let's check up on our new signing our new signing was none other than david neres for approximately 50 million pounds this guy is such a baller i'll never forget his game against real madrid in real life but we got him for 50 million pounds what a signing just look at him he fits perfectly into the squad look at that magisterial attack this team is turning out really well i see very good things from this team that marks the end of our january transfer window Neres in mayor out what a signing david Neres will be so boys our first game against psg has arrived we do have kim min jay out unfortunately with the red card but i do believe in us if we could at least get a 2-1 win or even a draw would really help us out let's get right into the game So boys, we end up losing 3-1 to PSG. David Neres put in a goal for us, but we couldn't do it. I can't get a last minute winner. Not even a winner, a last minute goal, unfortunately. Right, so now we're at the second leg, boys. We do have Kim Min Jae, and we end up losing 3-2 again. This time, a Berisha and Mbappe masterclass. Six turn an aggregate, not as bad, but not that good. We move on boys unfortunately we couldn't get the win but we did try our best so boys it is the end of the season and as you can see on the table we end up losing by two points damn that hurt but we move on let's check the league cup Ooh. and we lose to the same team again we could have gotten two trophies this time we lose to the same team curse that team man we could have gotten two trophies i mean to be fair to them they were wrecking everybody in their path but let's see who won the champions league you guys know how our champions league campaign ended we end up getting second place just to get thrown out the door by psg but i'm actually very pleased by the way we played in this champions league because we finished second place in a group with byron and Villarreal. The team that knocked us out end up losing the Champions League final. I take that as a W. Dortmund actually win it though. Very impressive. How about Europa League final? Goes to Leicester City against Benfica. Not too bad for the Foxes right there. How about UEFA Conference League? Goes to Austin Villa, another English team. Congrats to them. Now let's check how our players did this season. But before we check our player stats, let's see how our squad ended. Berisha with the 81, Rossi with the 83, Neres with an 81, Yandas with the 75, Creswell with the 77, Ziach with the 79. I'm never gonna pronounce the name good. And our defense was pretty solid. Here's the squad stats. Berisha, top goal scorer. Beautiful man. Beautiful season by him. 35 goals, 12 assists in 54 games. What an amazing season. Rossi, 20 goals, 12 assists in 55 games, another good season. David Neres, 33 games, 16 goals, and 10 assists. What a influence from David Neres, I'm not even gonna lie. Zach, I'm not gonna pronounce his name right guys, 13 goals and 12 assists. Yandas, 12 goals, 6 assists. Kavashi, another butchered name, 9 goals, 5 assists. Our backup striker didn't do too bad. Xavi Sinens with a 2 plus rating and overall I'm pretty happy how the team ended pretty decent but here's how the episode ends boys thank you guys for watching make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe and make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode make sure you guys leave a comment on which players I should sign for season 3 have a good one guys